The Syrian Republican Guard was established in 1976 as an elite force within the Syrian Arab Army, essentially as an internal security force intended to protect senior government officials from attacks by anti-government insurgents and also to serve as a check on possible Bonapartism within the SAA. Since its establishment, it has enjoyed privileged access to funding and resources, initially consisting of three mechanized brigades, each with a tank battalion and two or three mechanized battalions. Its strength was later expanded through the addition of a separate tank battalion, three airborne and or commando brigades, and two security regiments which provide bodyguards to senior officials including the president. The Republican Guard is staffed by a two-year draftees drawn from all over Syria, though it also contains a large number of volunteers serving in key leadership positions. At full strength, the Republican Guard has some 25,000 troops, though due to the wartime attrition, they are almost certainly lower. The Republican Guard has tended to be among the first units to receive the newest equipment such as the T-72 MBTs. The privileged status of the Guard meant that being appointed an officer within its ranks was a sign of high confidence in the reliability of the individual and an avenue to rapid promotion, with many prominent Syrian officials, including President Assad, having served in the Guard. On the downside, the Guard suffered from the same problems as all Praetorian Guard-style formations suffer from. Emphasis on loyalty rather than tactical competence, resentment from the other military formations, and exaggerated political ambitions of its senior officers. Like all elite formations, the Guard may be criticized for weakening the rest of the military by skimming the best recruits who, once trained, are kept out of the fighting because they are too valuable to risk. Indeed, the emphasis on its internal security role meant that the Guard played very little, if any, role in the Lebanese Civil War or the resistance to the IDF invasion of Lebanon in 1982, the possible exception of its commando units. The Guard command structure has tended to be dominated by Alawites. However, the entity also includes representatives of other major sections of the Syrian society. Indeed, one of the more prominent Syrian defectors of the early years of the war was Manif Tlas, the son of the defense minister and a Sunni officer within the Guard, who felt that even the privileged Guard posting was not a rapid enough avenue to promotion. Ultimately, however, the investment in the Republican Guard proved to be a sound one as the force withstood the ravages of the political upheaval and war and remained a viable military force. Under the command of Suhaib Sulaiman, the Republican Guard has acquitted itself well in the Syrian war, though the heavy exposure to fighting means its units suffered unusually heavy attrition compared to other Syrian Arab army formations. The Republican Guard has many field achievements to its name, most importantly at the outset of 2012 when it repelled the opposition assault on Damascus. The Republican Guard was able to absorb the attack on several axes in western and eastern Damascus, successfully protecting the strategic Mazer Air Base and the Damascus International Airport. Supported by Hezbollah, the Republican Guard subsequently went on the offensive, clearing the Damascus area and laying siege to the rebel-held areas in western and eastern Goata. The Republican Guard also deserves a sole credit in quelling the massive rebel offensive on Aleppo in 2012 by sending massive numbers of fighters and armored vehicles to Aleppo in spite of still dealing with the Damascus rebels. Even though the Republican Guard was not able to kick out the militants from Aleppo at the time, the elite forces blunted their assault and established frontline positions that were successfully defended until the Operation Dawn of Victory was launched in 2016 to liberate the entire city. The 800th Brigade of the Republican Guard played a decisive role in countering the Nusra offensive south of the city and recapturing the lost points. Perhaps one of the most important achievements of the Republican Guard is the perseverance of the 104th Brigade led by Issam Saradin and Deir Azor. The aforementioned brigade was sent there in late 2012 to maintain SAA presence inside the strategic city. Even with four years of constant attacks and brutal siege by the Free Syrian Army, Ara al-Sham, Nusra and most recently ISIS, the force managed to defend the airbase and over half of the districts in the city. The special forces of the 124th Brigade of the Republican Guard have protected the Itriah Kanasa Highway for two years, thus maintaining Aleppo's lifeline to the rest of Syria. The highway is relatively safe thanks to this detachment's efforts in repelling several Nusra and ISIS joint assaults from both directions. The Republican Guard also formed several volunteer commando units during the war, including the Syrian Marines which serve under the 103rd Brigade and which participated in the Aleppo battles in 2016 the first battle to recapture Palmyra and Latakia operations since 2016. The Republican Guard also includes the Lioness of Defense Armored Battalion, which is crewed solely by women and which is deployed east of the capital. 
While the Republican Guard headquarters remains in Damascus, it handles mainly administrative personnel and logistical issues. The Guard itself, like other elite formations, is not used as a single operational formation, but has been dispersed among several fronts as a stiffener to regular army formations and local militias. Too valuable to be used to hold frontline positions, it is used to launch breakthroughs of enemy positions or counterattacks against enemy efforts to advance. Therefore, the strength of the Republican Guard units at any given location depends on the nature of threats and future SAA operational plans. Currently, the Republican Guard is now mainly deployed in eastern and southern Damascus, East Goata, as well as the Aleppo province, where it operates along the Etria Road and west of Aleppo city itself. Furthermore, the 104th Brigade continues to hold Ezor Air Base, while the 800th Regiment operates out of Akalamun and the T4 Air Base. Total strength of all Republican Guards units is estimated at about 20,000 soldiers, though it is not clear what percentage of that number represents the actual frontline bayonet strength. As for equipment of the Republican Guard, it is still considered the top of the line in the Syrian Armed Forces. Republican Guard fighters are armed with AK-74 and AK-100 series rifles, and the units are amply provided with AGS-17 automatic grenade launchers, cords 12.7mm heavy machine guns, and anti-material rifles such as the OSV-96. As for the armored vehicles, the T-72AV is the prevalent main battle tank in the Republican Guard. It is an advanced version of the T-72 equipped with the Explosive Reactor Armor, ERA. Republican Guard also utilizes BMP-2, IFVs and a large number of gun trucks with 14.5mm, 23mm and 57mm automatic cannons. The Republican Guard was one of the first formations to obtain the Sarab 1 and 2 protection systems in addition to the Viper 72 thermal sight upgrade for the T-72 tanks. The 100th Artillery Regiment is armed with 122mm D-30 howitzers and 152mm 2S-3 Akasia self-propelled howitzers along with the BM-21 rocket launchers MLRS and locally manufactured Burkan MLRSs. With the passage of six years of the ongoing brutal war, the Republican Guard maintains its position as the most important and powerful formation in the Syrian Arab army, even after its huge losses in manpower and equipment. It remains relatively unaffected by the current political and security situation in Syria.